what we have seen in the past seven years and some months is nothing but a far cry from the promise Adam Sochumale made to Edo people when he came into government. Speaking at the ceremony, the PDP chairman, Chief Dan Obi, said it is important for Edo people to know the realities on ground in the area of education and should not be carried away by the Red Roof Revolution of the APC-led government in the states. He said it is on record that Governor Adam Sushomole inaugurated some projects at the Edo State-owned University, Ekboma, weeks to Christmas, but explained that the projects were not executed by the state government, but was financed by the Central Bank of Nigeria and Ted Fund. He said even though in 2012, before the governorship election, that Comrade Adam Sushomole claimed to have released the sum of one billion naira for the completion of the administrative block of the institution, he described it as a deceit for the adult people to vote him into office in the last governorship election. The only ongoing project at the State University at Ekpoma was the one that was awarded by the government of Loki Benedio. The question here, how come that that project has not been completed and commissioned by this government, but other projects initiated, facilitated and sponsored by other bodies like the Christ Embassy project at the university, Ted Fund project and the CBN intervention projects, they have since been commissioned by Adam Sushomoli. Chief Dan Ogden therefore advised the state governor to stop taking glory for projects not executed by him. Before Adam Sushomoli came to government in this state, the school fees at the Ambrose Ali University was under 21,000 Naira, under the PDP government. But today, I will tell you that to go to that school to study medicine, you will be forced to pay the sum of 160,000 Naira. The governor has neglected the infrastructural development of that institution. Instead, he's concentrating his efforts in the Iyamo private university. During the ceremony, the PDP chairman, Chief Danobi, also raised alarm at the alleged move by the state government to demolish 18 worship centers in Benin, saying that it is unacceptable. Best in Biri, reporting.